It looks to us, for when we look at the demand uh, scenarios, the demands uh, and supply are going to be relatively tight and balanced throughout the whole period. So we think we've got good pricing momentum uh, and that we'll be able to meet the ever-growing demand of both the specifications and the volume that our customers are going to need going forward. We're really excited. Are you right now exploring for new uh, lithium sources? I mean, there's, there's a lot in the United States that still has yeah. not been tapped yet, uh, and certainly a, a big supply coming from Chile. Absolutely. We're in the middle of expanding not only our derivative capacity, but we're also searching for additional resources uh, for the most cost competitive positions we can have around the world to meet the demand for growth in lithium that I think is going to be the next 10, 20 years. So we've got to be ready to meet the demands and, and we feel great about our position. I want to switch gears a little bit and talk about battery technology. I mean, uh, an electric vehicle, as I understand, uses 4,800 times the amount of lithium that is used in a smartphone. As technology gets better and better, is there less lithium in a battery or more lithium in a battery? You know, I think it, it, it really depends on where that technology leads us. I think the, if you look today, lithium is about 3% the cost of a battery. Uh, there's, the, as an example, is about three to $350 worth of lithium in a Tesla autom automobile. So it, it's a key contributor to allowing us to electrify the world, yet it's a small portion of the cost. So we feel as though that over the next 10 to 20 years, we're going to see significant improvements in this battery technology. But the key to it is going to be the purity and the amount of lithium that we're able to put in those batteries for higher energy density. Sir, it's Michelle here. How long is that going to take? It's 2 o'clock in the you know, afternoon, and I'm at 2% 2 2 on my phone, <laughs> and it makes me crazy. When will batteries get, get a better? Get a They're Mophie. the biggest. I, ha what you, I have backup batteries. You have no idea. ABC, always be yeah. charging. <laughs> I, I, I'm with you. I'm, I'm charging my phone right now as I'm doing this because I've got some calls to make afterwards. But I think let's look at where battery technology has come over the last decade. And I think what you're going to see is where it's come over the last decade. You're going to see an intensification over the next five years where you're going to see continuous, continuous improvement that's going to drive critical and higher specifications for this lithium carbonate and lithium hydroxide. And that's where Albemarle we feel has such a competitive advantage based upon are, not only our resources, but our chemical ability to transfer that to those higher specs. Are we more likely to solve Michelle's problem, my problem, your problem of charging, to, of, of, of battery life by improving the batteries on the one hand or by improving the way the power is sucked out by the components. If you see, if you get <laughs> more my, efficiency, yeah, software. more efficiency, the chips, yeah. the, the, the processes, the so that there's less consumption uh, per unit of power. Or whatever, I don't know what I'm saying, but you, you get my point. Yeah, I think what you're going to see is you're going to see a tremendous increase in the efficiency of that battery. And again. That's going to allow for a greater use of the batteries, and there'll be a more demand around the globe for them when we get this energy efficiency, which is going to drive demand for even more and more lithium carbonate and lithium hydroxide. So I think over the next 10 to 20 years, this is the best growth story in specialty chemicals, and we're excited to be a market leader in that area.